Welcome back to Worthington Model Railway and today I'm going to attack something slightly different in terms of uh, my review. Uh, if you remember recently I built that industrial area and one of the things that I wanted to do was put a couple of lorries uh, into that so I was trying to find some lorries that, uh, that fall into that area and uh, I found these ones from uh, Base Toys. So let's take a look. So as I said, I wanted to find something uh, that was sort of right for my era, right? And, you know, I model basically uh, late 40s to early 60s. Um, both of these kind of fall into the 50s genre in terms of, uh, of when they were uh, when they were first seen on the roads. Um, anyway, they, they look like, uh, you know, reasonable little models, but... Uh, to say, I've never heard of them before. They're relatively inexpensive. I think they were like, oh, I'm trying to think, maybe seven or eight pounds a piece. They, they certainly weren't expensive. I got them from Hattons. Uh, this one, I think, has been around for a bit just because there's a lot of yellowing on this end of the, of the box. And I'm not sure that any of these are actually still available because I, I think I might have got the last ones. But uh, I thought we'd take a look at them and, and, and see. As I say, they're from, well, one of them says base toys and one says BT models, but... Uh, this scale 176 so the double O scale um, but I just thought you know try something different and they, they do look reasonable um, so let's open them up and have a look see what we have here there really is very much very little information on here apart from the fact this is a uh, manufactured for base toys Hong Kong uh, but it also says made in China well I suppose Hong Kong is now China right so uh, that's interesting okay <laughs> So this one comes uh, with a load of pipes. Um, those look reasonable. Um, they're just plastic, uh, plastic pipes that are going to sit on there. Take those to one side. There's a little bit of a oh, that mirror's hanging off a bit. Um, but you know, I mean, they're they're fine for just sort of putting on the layout for something extra. I mean, obviously, not a lot of. Uh, a lot of detail on these but uh, they seem pretty good um, I don't know the wheels uh, those wheels kind of turn um, not that I'm gonna be running them or anything they're just gonna sit static so um, I don't care that much because it would be nice if they did have a driver in them and I suppose there's no easy way to get into that cab to to get a driver in there um, obviously they're right-hand drive which is they should be for the British roads, and they get early registration numbers on them too, so that's good. Uh, what does this one say? Ross uh, Fontwell. So this is, I suppose, from coming from Wales, right? Um, so I mean, what are these? Uh, that's a good question. They're both AECs. I think one of them is a Mammoth, and the other one is, hmm, good question. So. One of them, okay, so the D97, which is this one, is a Mercury Arctic, and this is Smith of Madison. Um, here we see J.A. Smith, Glasgow, Greenock, Ulla, Wigan, Stockton. Um, let me sort of zoom in a bit here and see if we can can actually see see that. It's actually quite quite nicely printed on there. Uh, this one also uh, does move. Um, the only thing about this one is, oh, this, uh, I said I thought it had been on the shelf a while. There is some rust on those wheels. Um, they don't move too freely. I'll put a little bit of lubricant on there before I put them out on the layout, uh, just so that they, they don't seize up completely. Um, and the other one is, uh, as I said, a, an AEC Mammoth Major uh, flatbed, and it says... Uh, Circa 1957 to 1967, so this must have been, they must have arrived in the 50s into the 60s. Again, the wheels don't turn that freely. Um, here we go. Can you read? I don't know. Can you read that? Uh, maybe. So, you know, that was just a very brief uh, video and overview of these two little models. Um, as I say, they'll, we'll put them 
on the layout and uh, I will snap a couple of pictures of them sitting by the industrial area to uh, finish up the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, this was quite a fun little video. Uh, please like and subscribe as I always ask. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe button to the top right. Uh, another video to the top left.